Well, hear this. Listen to this music. This is another problem I got with this fucking game. Is the music soundtrack. Okay. The radio stations, just like in Fallout 3 and New Vegas, only plays half a dozen the same tracks over and over and over again. And most of the stuff is obscure. The stuff dating back to the fucking mid-30s to the 40s. You're going to find a lot of classical musical uh, movies like by Zanny Kay and the Andrew Sisters. Okay? And yet, not a single goddamn modern, I guess, modern today track or anything in modern day. Hey, asshole. See? You're listening to Raider Radio. You know, when I first listened to the Raider Radio, I was like, oh, man, we're going to get... Listen up, all you disciples, operators, pack, We you know, we're going to get some... Whoever the hell else is out there Get some, days. maybe some rock and roll, Thanks maybe a little bit of metal. But I unfortunately, it doesn't happen. The... You got Ride of the Valkyries, which shown up now twice in Fallout games. Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4. The classical music stuff I got no problem with, and I enjoy very much so because I'm a big classic music guy myself. But because Betasada is so goddamn cheap that they don't want to put anything else more modern in there. You know, like the Beatles, or the Fleetwood Mac, or ABBA, or even Lady Gaga. I mean, shit, you can even put Michael Jackson in there, for crying out loud. But no, they're too goddamn cheap. So I'm assuming that they took that money, whatever they had, and paid Linda Carter to do the two Magnolia, Magnolia um, tracks and get her inside the recording studio to record them. So that's why I'm assuming where the money went. But you got to remember that this goddamn game sold over a billion fucking dollars. A billion. Right? A billion dollars. You don't think that these stingy sons of bitches would not take at least $10,000 or one or, you know, three or four thousand, even low, low amount of money. You know? Maybe some local band, you know. But no, they're too fucking cheap. They're too goddamn cheap. So, you know, we got this shit. We got, you know, I'm crying over you. You know, you got the ink spots and you got, oh, Adam, baby, Adam, bah. I mean, come on. I can understand it's the theme of the goddamn game. But, dude, why be so fucking uh, cheap? Why be cheap? You were going to get your money back 10 to 50 times fold in the sales of the damn game alone. Now, and as for uh, music survival, you got to remember, even in an apocalyptic world, a post-apocalyptic world, music's going to survive no matter what and no matter where. Not an atomic bomb can drop on every fucking city in the United States. It's not, it's impossible. The Chinese don't have that many. The Russians don't have that many. It's just impossible. So all those places is quite possibly have radio stations, private homes, recording studios. It still has music. Everything from eight tracks, reel to reel, cassettes, cassette tapes, uh, CDs. You know, come on now. You know, and they got music, and they can set up their own goddamn radio stations like these guys do, the Raider Radio guys, and the fucking, uh, and Travis and fucking Diamond City. But no, it's just too fucking cheap to do so. And that is one of my biggest fucking problems with this game. This game's got a lot of, it's got some good points, but it's got a lot of fucking bad points. And I think limiting the music is one of the fucking bad points. So, that's the name of this fucking video. And that's just the way it is. Now, if you don't like it, too bad. Okay, and this goes out to all the people that want to give the damn video a thumbs down. Which is fine with me. You can give it a thumbs down. That's what I mostly strive for. Because it's considered a badge of honor. This means that I'm annoying the shit out of people. Now, for you guys trying to tell me to grow up. 
Well, let me tell you, I'm going to be 55 years old. I served 21 years in the National Guard. I did a, two tours overseas. I led fire teams in combat. I've had the insurgents, I've had Hodges try to kill me. Fucking day in, day out, month in, month out, year in, year out. So, you tell me to grow up. Why don't you fucking grow up? All you fucking little crybabies, whiners, hipsters, or fucking uh, YouTube lurkers. Stop claiming that you are bipolar and stop claiming SSI. And fucking stop living in your mother's basement and go out and get a fucking job. Or go out and get a fucking life. I did my time. I did my crime. You don't like it? You can go suck a bag of dicks. So eat some fish heads and die.